Carlos Bale over Germany trip. FG borrowed over 2 trillion naira to fund 2017 budget that is coming from the debt management office DMO. And uh, just on top of the front page of the Punch newspaper, Teleology finally takes over Nine Mobile, appoints directors. So the users take note of the new name of your of your uh, telecoms line now. Still some loaded story. Moving over to the bottom strip of the Punch newspaper, Buhari says stolen phones stashed away abroad. Signs extradition bill. Hoodlums vandalize 18 vehicles, rob traders in Lagos clash. UK delaying the Zanis trial, says Magu. FG foreign agencies to sign $956 million per transmission deals. Please arrange Togolese Cook for Credit Suite chairman's mother. FG okays 1,300 seas, <laughs> seas of hole. Repairs roads in 14 varsities. Vivian, I find this quite, quite, will I say, embarrassing. We are celebrating signing of CFOs, that's the Certificate of Occupancy. Yeah. This is something that should be normal, but you know what a lot of landlords go through mm -hmm. before they get their, they get their CFOs. Yeah, it's just like going to church to give a testimony when you get a visa to the U.S. Can you imagine? Yeah. I have the Vanguard here, right? <laughs> Let's move straight up to the big story on the Vanguard. Yeah, plain search, uh, Buhari article at each other's throats. Uh, that's a follow-up to uh, one of the stories that trended yesterday. It is on page 41 in Vanguard. Uh, we also have a writer to that. Article is saying Buhari ordered the search, and Buhari is saying you are whipping up sentiments. Check that out on page 44 page 41 of Vanguard. And then um, we have um, Eze Kwesele mm -hmm. on page 39 of Vanguard saying, fuel subsidy must go. And then we have uh, Vice President Shibajo on page 41 of Vanguard saying, I'm for state, please, a stronger states. Uh, check that out on page 41 of Vanguard. We also have um, Obasanjo blasts governors for stealing LG funds. Uh, that's on page 9 of Vanguard. And then INEC. Uh, PDP allays fears of omission of Tambor's name, page 4 on Vanguard. And then we have Fashola on page 12 explaining why uh, the second Niger Bridge is delayed. And then we have President Bari to diaspora Nigerians. You won't vote in 2019. Uh, if you want to find out why, go to page 2 of the Vanguard. And then we have EFCC here on page 4. EFCC recovers um, 871 billion naira looted funds. 407 mansions in three years, page four of Vanguard. And then the presidency is explaining why they released Uzo Dima over the alleged $12 million uh, fraud. Alleged, that is. Page five of the Vanguard. Over to you, Kyrie. And uh, moving over to Guardian newspaper, the big story there is uh, EFCC gets ultimatum to probe Ganduje. <laughs> Interesting. And the riders there, CNPP, accuses Commission of Selective Prosecution. Magu dodges question on bribery video. Says it won't investigate Tinubu without petition. And uh, we also have this one. Court orders Kanu Assembly to stay action on inquiry. And uh, just uh, below the masthead, Buhari signs extradition law, FCT budget, others. Teleology finally takes over Nine Mobile. Ezekiesili urges deregulation of oil sector. Our signatures forged to impeach speaker, deputy, say Ondo lawmakers. And uh, finally, on the front page of the Guardian newspaper, how government borrowed 845 billion naira to pay salaries debt and the follow-up to that lack of openness accountability still dogs processes find out all this find out more on all the stories on today's copy of guardian newspaper
I have Nigerian Tribune here, and the big story here is Magu keeps mum on Ganduji. Uh, this is over the alleged $5 million bribery video. And then the writer here says, gives reasons for Diazani's planned extradition, and the court restrains Kano Assembly panel on uh, the governor. And then we have another story here, two children, Doug found dead in freezer. That is a gory one. Uh, you can check that out on Nigerian Tribune. And then we have um, tension at UI International School over hijab. We also have another story here, eye-catching. Stop interfering in assembly matters, 18 lawmakers tell Akiri Dolu. Mm -hmm. And then we have Atiku saying that I have never been searched before, says security search premeditated, meant to intimidate me, engineered by APC. That is Atiku talking now. We also have um, the former president, Obasanjo, saying that governors have incapacitated LGs financially can check that out in Nigerian Tribune. And then we have Fashola saying that FG has increased electricity generation from 4,000 megawatts to 7,000 megawatts. And then we have Ize Kwesele saying that paying 1.3 trillion naira for fuel subsidy is callous. Check that out on uh, Nigerian Tribune. And then we also have, um, let's see now, this one, I think I've already talked about it. Uh, 30,000 naira minimum wage to cost the uh, federal government 3.9 trillion naira in 2019. Investigation increment already envisaged, and that is the budget ministry talking. Wow, quite, quite, quite revealing there. You know, we talked mm -hmm. about it yesterday, yesterday, not being captured in 2018 budget. Mm -hmm. So if at all it's going to be considered, then it will come up in 2019 budget. Mm -hmm. And uh, that sounds like a signal. Yeah. That 32,000 naira may not be realistic. Well, because if you have th 3 trillion and we have a budget of about 9 trillion, then if the salary for workers take 3 trillion, the politicians have their own salaries, mm -hmm. then we might have spent like almost 9 trillion on salaries. I would on like recurrence. to I would like to play safe and allow <laughs> us to hear it from the horse's mouth. Okay, so mm -hmm. let us speak for them. Yes. Moving over to the nation newspaper, we have the big story. Buhari Oshibajo lash out at restructuring advocates and the writer Agbakaba Okorie Babatope disagree. Then other stories there, just uh, below the masthead. Access diamond stocks up, down over talks. Then we have Fashalite tenders Buhari's report. And you can have the details of some of them because of time. Let me just give you one or two. Fashola tenders Buhari's report, 2,147 roads constructed, rehabilitated, and 79,378,000 th people employed between 2016 and November 2018. Generation increased from 4,000 megawatt to 7,000 megawatt. Transition from 5,000 megawatt to 7,000 megawatt. Distribution from 2,690 megawatt to 5,222 megawatt. You can find out and see if you want to disprove some of these claims by the Minister of Power, Housing and Works. Then above the mast head, 4.7 billion naira fraud. Ladoja has case to answer, says court. EFCC recovers 794 billion naira, 400, 407 houses. Teleology Niger, Nigeria Limited takes over Nine Mobile and on sport, Raw unfolds Eagles training regime. You can get more details of all these stories on today's Nation newspaper. All right, on the new Telegraph now, the big story here, uh, Buhari, I'm frustrated over stolen funds and assets. The rider, EFCC, recovers a $794 billion naira, uh, $261 million, uh, seizes 407 mansions. And then Magu laments delay in UK's trial of Deziani. We also have a tickle, a security, search on me, an intimidation tactic. And this is a story I've not seen on the front pages of other papers now. 1,800 and one killed in plateau attacks. Mm -hmm. IDP committee uh, is the one saying, and it says, 
um, 87 villages destroyed, annexed by heads, man. Mm -hmm. You can check that out on the New Telegraph. We also have um, NDIC, uh, Management Directors of Sky Bank, under investigation. And then we have this that we mentioned earlier on, two kids, a dog found dead in a freezer in Lagos. Uh, all these and more you have on the New Telegraph. And uh, finally, on today's newspaper, we finished or we round off with the Sporting Live. The big story there is Premier League Team of the Week. Indidi makes court. Interesting piece there. And uh, just on the top, Mario, we face top four battle. Okay, he's no longer dreaming to win the league, but just to be in the top four. Conte denies Real Madrid's job. Messi picks. Pichichi Award, and we also have story charged over betting rules. Bafana's goalkeeper, Williams, doubtful. I don't know whether we should rejoice over these so that we can be sure of getting our three points. <laughs> we do not fear Nigeria, says Baxter. Raw insists on Lukman Ojo. We also want that young lad. He's doing very well. Manchester United wanted... Manchester United wanted Pellegrini in summer. Dutchman to rival sports for Gomez. And Italian Serie A backs 11. Ekong listed rated second best defender. Kudos. I appreciate that. Mm. These are the stories we have for you on her newspaper headlines. You can go pick up a copy or pick all the copies if you can. It's never too much to read all these newspapers because they are quite loaded. But please don't do that until after the show. We'll take a short break and when we come back, it will be time for discussion segment. Please don't go anywhere. <laughs> 